me try to use this five minutes to share with you some, some points of view. Uh, first of all, Mexico City. I was a former mayor until December. Mexico City means 9 million people, 4.5 million people working and studying there from other states. Fourth largest economy in Latin America by herself. 3.5 million cars. And in the past years, the past 20 years, it's a city with an important level of growth, not in population, but growth in economic terms. Because the city passed from $11,000 average as income to 20000 average income. So that means that you have an increasingly pressure in gas emissions, but also in demand for energy and other uh, commodities. The main risk of the city? Well, we built a city in the middle of a lake, in a very high level. If I were in Europe, we were a, a sky place, ski place here in, in winter. But we, in Mexico City, built a city in the middle of a lake. So what means that? We observed the past 10 years, clearly, a change in the pattern of rains in the city. For instance, three years ago, we have a dry station, dry year, with a real risk for the water supply for the city. But now, again this year, three years only, between 2009 and 2012. And what, what's happening also? You have suddenly, in, in, in the dry station even, you have suddenly a lot of water in just three hours, meaning that all your drainage facilities of the city can be overwhelmed <coughs> by the change in the pattern of rain. That means that the city is in the real risk each year because dry station, supply water, and because rain that can produce flooding in the city. So we started to take actions like <laughs> several years ago as a city to invest a lot of money in order to, to have growth in the economy, but at the same time, reduction in the gas emissions. A high task. If you compare the this, this Mexico City situation with the Europe or the United States situations, when, when Europe and the United States has the growth that we experimented the past 20 years. A very different uh, situation. So what's happened in the city at the end as a main learning for us? Well, we, take, we, took, we took a lot of decisions, increased bus rapid system of the city. We have already 100 kilometers, <coughs> expand the subway, Look for a new technology in order to reduce consumption of water. We fulfilled 10% as a reduction in the consume of water in the city. We reduced 7 million tons of gas emissions in six years. Okay, those are the main learnings and results of the city. But we know that if there are not a global action, effective one, it doesn't matter. What are we doing? It's very expensive. All the measures that I mentioned only in the past five years cost more than $5 billion for the city. Local financing. Not international one, obviously. But it doesn't matter if we don't have an international effective action in the short term. Short term meaning next year and the years until 2025, more or less. <coughs> so we propose to other cities, after the experience of Copenhagen 2009, we propose a common action between cities. 
in order to accelerate the gas emission reduction all over the world. <coughs> so the cities signed the Mexico City Agreement in 2010 as a result of the Copenhagen experience. Right now, we have 290 cities working. Nine, 290 cities all over the world. Europe, United States, India, Japan, all over the world. They report to Carbon Initiative and ICLE, thank you David for your support, ICLE, an international institution supporting this. We all, all the cities report to this institution in order to verify the advances that we have in each city. So this March we are going to present the report of 2012. Just to say, what happens the next step? As far as we have the representation of France, Sweden, Japan, very important countries, the issue is how to transfer resources from the developed economies and cities to the cities that is, are growing right now and need this money in order to take actions in the next years. Is there any uh, proposal? Is What's your idea? in order to have this. If we are producing gas emission, we should pay for it and support all the cities growing the world to take actions in the, court, in the short term. Thank you. Thank you.